Welcome to the Anxiety Slayer series. Our mission is to assist you with creating more peace and tranquility in your life through anxiety release exercises and supportive tools created to slay your anxiety. Welcome everyone. I'm Shan Vanderleek here with my wonderful friend and partner, Ananga Sevier. We come together weekly to share Anxiety Slayer sessions with you and answer listener questions from our inbox and Facebook page. Together, we share a powerful collection of techniques to reduce anxiety. And this month, we're celebrating nine years together and over 5 million downloads of our popular podcasts. We are so excited to still be together and to have so many listeners like you listening in. Thank you for listening. We like to mix up a potent blend of coaching, storytelling, Ayurveda, yoga, guided relaxations, and EFT tapping, along with our many years of personal experience. And we have an extensive library of courses at our Anxiety Slayer Academy, including the brand new Anxiety Slayer First Responder Series for Anxiety Attacks. And starting this month, Ananga is offering a limited number of one-to-one private tapping sessions for our podcast listeners and Facebook group members. So if you're looking for extra support, to overcome anxiety, you definitely want to hook up with Ananga for one of these private sessions. She's amazing. You can find out more at anxietyslayer.com forward slash coaching. Today, we're talking about how to support yourself when anxiety wakes you at night, as this is something that's coming up quite a bit for the members of our private Facebook group. Where do we begin, Ananga? And I guess before that, Welcome back and congratulations on nine years and five million downloads. Hey, Shan, thank you. Yeah, I never could have dreamt that we would achieve five million downloads. Amazing. And uh, for a podcast to keep going for nine years, it makes us old. It's an old podcast. (laughs) (laughs) In internet history, everything moves so fast, doesn't it? Nine years is a long time. So I'm really grateful we're still here. Grateful for our listeners. We're receiving messages all the time from people who've been listening to us for years, thank you. Thanks for showing up and sharing time with us. I think coming around to anxiety, waking you at night, one thing that's important to mention is for many of us in the countries where we're living in autumn season, the transition into autumn can really stir the mind. That colder, crisper, windier weather, as we mentioned in last week's episode, really can stir up our thoughts. So it's worth keeping that in mind, that uh, that can affect your sleep more at this time of year. And my recommendation for dealing with anxiety at night is take action. Don't lay there with your mind racing at night. My daughter and I used to enjoy a costume drama a few years ago where there was this wonderful wise woman called Queenie and people would go to her with their problems and she would always say to people, these are just night thoughts. Mm. When the sun comes out in the morning, everything will feel brighter. So we do get these night thoughts and Ayurveda talks about different energies and different qualities of different times of the day. We all know mothers always tell children everything feels worse at night, everything feels scary at night. And the answer is to put a light on. Mm -hmm. If you're sharing a room with somebody else and you're concerned about disturbing them, you might need to get up and move to another room. But put a light on, take action. Don't lay there in the dark thinking it might pass or hoping it might pass because once the mind gets hold with these kind of thoughts, it can really drag you in a downward spiral. So to to sit up, take action, and you really do stand more chance of getting back to sleep if you take the steps we're going to talk about today to help you steady your mind and relax again. If you start objecting to anxiety waking you up and thinking of all the things you need to do tomorrow, that's just fuel to its fire. So this is a stealthy approach to nighttime support for anxiety. And one of the things that we recommend that you do is keep some Bach flower rescue remedy next to your bed. They have a nighttime remedy and it's fantastic. Keep it by your bed, spray it under your tongue. Anytime you wake up with anxiety, I have my rescue remedy. I have a glass of water. I have a special blend of essential oils all by my bed so that I can get them quite easily. And they've been a real help for me. The next thing that you can do is start tapping. If you're confident tapping on your own, begin tapping and taking steady breaths while focusing on your out breath 
and making it long and smooth. We cover this in more detail in our Anxiety Slayer First Responder course for anxiety attacks, which includes a seven-minute SOS guided tapping session to calm anxiety whenever and wherever it strikes, including at night when it wakes you up. Yeah, this is really helpful. This is something I've used a lot over the years. And I think it's important to understand that when that night energy comes up with anxiety, it really can have quite a push to it. So we have to start taking deep breaths, take the rescue remedy, start tapping if you know how to do that. If you don't, we can help you. Just go to anxietyslayer.com forward slash EFT and you can find out more about tapping. But tapping really does quickly start to calm down these thoughts when they're revving up. And you have to persist. This is the tricky part, is to take action and persist. You might need to curl up in a chair with a cushion with a nice lamp on and diffuse some lavender oil or put some lavender oil over your heart and on your wrist points, on your pulse points, and inhale that deeply and just allow yourself to be there for a few minutes and let those things work their magic. Stay safe, curled up, use the lavender, take a rescue remedy. And my number one tip is put something in your head that isn't your own mind, whirring and chattering. If, if I've been going through some intense spells in my life and my mind wakes up, it's extremely fast to get a hold. So Ayurveda teaches that we have levels in our mind. Above the mind sits our intelligence. So the tip for coping with anxiety at night is to get your intelligence to kick in and take action to calm your mind down. One nice way of thinking about that Ayurvedically is that the intelligence is like a mother and the mind is like an upset child. Mm. To really have that soft but on it consciousness. That, yeah, right. You know, <laughs> you're kind and you're loving, but okay, this is what we, we need to do. So to use the rescue remedy, put some lavender on, curl up and put something in your head that isn't your anxious thoughts. So that might be reading. I like to read if I wake at night or listening to a guided relaxation. And if anxiety is running really high, you might need to put it on repeat. You might need to listen to something a few times or have a playlist ready of favorite guided relaxations. And you can just listen to one and the next one. Something like guided body scan, guided shavasana. We have many recordings we've made available to help you with this. We also have an album called Sleep, which is deeply relaxing. And you can find those at anxietyslayer.com slash meditations. Really be kind to yourself and just stay with it. Right. Even if you don't immediately get back to sleep, you are relaxed, which is better than fighting with anxiety. Well, it's such a sweet way to care for yourself. Keep tapping, breathing, or listening to whatever calms your mind. And if you're interested in learning more about any of the information that we shared in this podcast, all of the links are in our show notes at anxietyslayer.com. You'll find everything you need to do some coaching with Ananga, to learn more about EFT, and to get a hold of those meditations that we mentioned. And again, thank you so much for listening to Anxiety Slayer. We're grateful that you keep coming back and we're very, very excited to share more. Introducing the Anxiety Slayer First Responder Series for Anxiety Attacks. Get step-by-step teachings, tools, and techniques to help you overcome anxiety attacks and reclaim your life. Learn more at anxietyslayer.com.